Matthew chapter 26, verse 39, Matthew chapter 27, verse 46, and John chapter 12, verse 27 show Jesus Christ praying to God, the Almighty in the heavens. Why would Jesus Christ need to pray to anyone if he is God or part of God, much less need to pray to himself? Does the concept of a God worshipping a God make sense to you? Does the idea of a praying God make sense to you? Is it logical? Of course not. A God does not need to pray to anyone. How can Jesus Christ both be God and pray to God simultaneously? A praying God is a contradiction in terms and nonsensical. How can Jesus Christ be our Savior when he could not save himself? He had to beg God to save him. This verse demonstrates that Jesus Christ prayed to God the Almighty in the heavens because he needed God, as do all humans. Only God in the heavens is self-sufficient and in need of no one. Divine aid can come only from God, the Almighty above, not from a human prophet sent by God. God does not need to pray to anyone else, as he is not dependent on anyone. He is free of need. He is the creator of everything and owns everything. Whenever he wills anything to be, he says, be, and it is. If Jesus Christ was God, as the doctrine of the Trinity claims, why was he instructing his people to worship the God in the heavens instead of worshiping him? On his own, Jesus Christ made it clear that he could not do anything. I can, of mine own self, do nothing. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is, because I seek not my own will, but the will of the Father which hath sent me. John chapter 5 verse 3 However, Christians stubbornly believe he is their Savior when he needs saving himself, as he cannot even save himself. This verse proves that Jesus Christ had no power to do anything on his own. All the power he had was given to him and willed by God the Almighty in the heavens. Jesus Christ stated that his teachings did not come from him personally. Instead, they came from God, the Glorious. Jesus Christ never took credit for his teachings. John chapter 7 verse 16 states, Jesus answered, My teaching is not my own. It comes from the one who sent me. In John chapter 12 verse 49, it quotes Jesus Christ as saying, For I did not speak on my own, but the Father who sent me commanded me to say all that I have spoken. This is what a human prophet sent by God would say. John chapter 6 verse 38 demonstrates that Jesus Christ wanted to fulfill God's will from above and not fulfill his own will. For I came down from heaven not to do mine own will, but the will of him that sent me. Again, prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, was a human prophet sent by God to his people to spread the message of God. Logic dictates that if Jesus Christ said, My teaching is not my own, that would imply that his teachings are not from himself, and instead from a different being. Logic dictates that he was only a human prophet of God receiving revelation from God above, like the many messengers and prophets who came before him. Why are Christians worshipping a human? This is a colossal error and cardinal sin. It is the only unforgettable sin if you die with that belief and do not repent. Jesus said, Whatever you will, I am in submission to it. He submitted to God, the Almighty, because he was a Muslim. By definition, a Muslim is one in submission to the Almighty God. Many verses in the Holy Bible demonstrate Jesus Christ's submission to God, the Almighty, in the heavens, whom Muslims call Allah. 
It shows that Jesus Christ was not God, but lived in submission to the God that created him and sent him to his people. If one submits his will to another being, that act indicates the existence of two separate beings and not one.